Haifa, Israel's scenic port city, known for its beautiful landscapes and bustling port, has some surprising new residents' wild boars. These animals have made their way from the surrounding forests into the heart of the city. These animals aren't shy, they roam the streets, dig up gardens and block traffic, making themselves at home among the city's people. Their presence is felt everywhere, from busy intersections to quiet residential areas. What was once a rare sight is now a daily reality, with boars boldly foraging in broad daylight. They have adapted quickly to urban life, finding food and shelter with ease. The COVID-19 lockdowns accelerated this change, as empty streets emboldened the boars to venture deeper into the city. With fewer humans around, they explored new territories and established themselves in urban areas. Now they're a common sight, rummaging through trash and showing little fear of humans. Their boldness has grown, and, they often come into close contact with people. Residents are divided, some want the boars gone, while others advocate for coexistence. The community is split on how to handle these uninvited guests. Viral videos of boars eating homework or wandering schoolyards highlight how deeply this issue has invaded daily life. These incidents have become a part of the local culture, often shared on social media. Parents worry about safety, and homeowners are frustrated by property damage. The boars can be destructive, tearing up gardens and lawns in their search for food. Haifa faces a complex dilemma, balancing human safety with animal welfare. City officials are working on strategies to manage the boar population without harming them. This isn't just Haifa's problem. Cities worldwide are seeing similar wildlife invasions as urban areas expand. The phenomenon is a global one, with various animals adapting to city life. The story of Haifa's boars forces us to rethink our relationship with nature and how we manage wildlife at our doorsteps. It's a reminder of the delicate balance between urban development and natural habitats. The search for a solution here could offer lessons for cities everywhere. As we continue to expand our urban spaces, finding ways to coexist with wildlife will become increasingly important. Haifa's wild boar boom didn't happen by accident. The city's streets, parks, and gardens have become a surprising haven for these animals, but their story is rooted in a complex mix of law, ecology, and urban life. In Israel, boars are protected by law, making it illegal to hunt or harm them without special permits. This legal shield was designed to preserve native wildlife, but it's had some unintended consequences. With no natural predators left in the region, wolves and leopards are long gone, their numbers have exploded, the balance that once kept boar populations in check has disappeared, allowing them to multiply rapidly. A single female can have multiple litters a year, each with several piglets, fueling rapid population growth. In just a few years, a small group can become a large herd, overwhelming local resources. The city's 2019 ban on culling, celebrated by animal rights activists, removed a key population control tool. Without culling there's little to slow their expansion and the boars have taken full advantage. Meanwhile, unsecured garbage bins and lush gardens provide easy food, drawing boars into urban areas. The abundance of leftovers and fruit trees makes city life even more attractive for these adaptable animals. The result? Boars have adapted to city life, becoming permanent urban dwellers. They roam neighborhoods, cross busy streets, and even raise their young in city parks. Their intelligence helps them exploit every opportunity the city offers. Boars learn quickly, opening gates, tipping bins, and finding new food sources with ease. Addressing the boar problem means tackling these root causes, not just the visible symptoms. It requires cooperation between city officials, ecologists, and residents to find lasting solutions. Any real solution must consider legal, ecological, and human factors. Changing laws, improving waste management, and restoring natural balance are all part of the answer. Only then can Haifa hope to regain balance, ensuring a safer, healthier coexistence between people and wildlife. The boar invasion brings headaches for both people and the environment. What once seemed like a rare wildlife sighting has now become a daily reality for many residents, as wild boars boldly wander through neighborhoods and city parks. Boars destroy gardens, parks, and sports fields overnight leaving costly damage in their wake. Homeowners wake up to find their lawns uprooted and flower beds ruined while city workers face the constant challenge of repairing public spaces. They scatter trash, creating unsanitary conditions and attracting other pests. Overflowing bins and littered streets not only look unsightly, but also pose health risks for the community, as rats and insects are drawn to the mess. While usually avoiding humans, boars can be dangerous if threatened charging at people or pets, and causing traffic accidents. Sudden encounters on roads can lead to collisions, putting both drivers and animals at risk. 
This constant threat changes how residents use their city, with some avoiding parks or walking at night. Parents worry about letting children play outside, and joggers think twice before heading out after dark. Ecologically, boars are ecosystem engineers but in high numbers, their digging destroys native plants and accelerates soil erosion. The delicate balance of local habitats is disrupted making it harder for native species to thrive. They outcompete other wildlife for food, pushing smaller animals away from vital resources and altering the natural food chain. Boars can also spread diseases like African swine fever, threatening domestic pigs and putting local farmers' livelihoods at risk. The economic impact can be devastating for those who depend on healthy livestock. The dense boar population in Haifa is a perfect breeding ground for such outbreaks, making disease control even more challenging. The problems range from daily nuisances to serious economic and ecological risks, affecting everyone from city dwellers to farmers and conservationists. Managing the boar crisis is urgent for both people and nature, requiring creative solutions and cooperation from the entire community. Some experts propose a radical solution, reintroduce natural predators to control the boar population. This idea, called trophic rewilding, aims to restore balance by letting predators keep boar numbers in check. The goal isn't to eliminate boars, but to reduce their numbers and make them less bold. Successful examples exist, like wolves in Yellowstone, which transform the ecosystem for the better. Could a similar approach work in Haifa's Carmel region? The plan raises tough questions. Which predators? Would they stay in the wild or enter the city? How would residents react? Rewilding shifts management from constant human intervention to natural processes. It's a bold vision, but one that comes with significant challenges. Predators do more than just hunt, they create a landscape of fear. Their presence makes prey like boars more cautious, changing where and how they forage. If predators return to Haifa's forests, boars would likely avoid open city spaces, sticking to dense cover. This behavioral shift could reduce boar incursions into urban areas, even if predator numbers are low. Similar effects have been seen in Europe, where prey animals change habits to avoid wolves, allowing vegetation to recover. For Haifa, the goal isn't just fewer boars, but boars that are wary of the city. Success should be measured by changes in boar behavior, not just population numbers. Making the city an uncomfortable place for boars could restore balance. Even unseen predators could help keep wildlife at bay. Reintroducing predators is risky and complex. Choosing the right species is crucial. Wolves and hyenas once lived here, but today's landscape is fragmented by cities and farms. Predators might not stay in the wild. They could wander into urban areas, raising public safety concerns. Residents already uneasy about boars may resist living near wolves or hyenas. Gaining public support would require extensive education and reassurance. Ecologically, new predators could target vulnerable native species, disrupting the food web. Large predators need vast connected habitats, something Haifa's region may not provide. The risk of trading one problem for another is real. Many experts doubt rewilding is practical for a city like Haifa. It's a powerful idea but perhaps better suited to remote wilderness than urban edges. There's no single fix for Haifa's boar problem. Predator reintroduction is fascinating, but likely too risky for a city setting. The best path forward is a balanced mix of strategies. Targeted humane culling may be necessary to reduce numbers using advanced traps for efficiency. Non-lethal deterrents are key boar-proof bins, strict rules against feeding wildlife, and better fencing. Cutting off easy food sources will push boars back to the wild. Public education is vital for safe coexistence and understanding boar behavior. Ultimately, Haifa must find a pragmatic, compassionate balance between people and wildlife. The city's challenge is a lesson for all urban areas facing the wild at their doorstep.